just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, it is Sunday. It's early and I'm up. I just edited a vlog and it's uploading right now. And I'm about to take my thyroid medicine. I'm trying to open it with one hand. These things are childproof, so I don't know why I'm doing it that way. It's eight o'clock, so supposedly I'm not supposed to have anything but water until nine o'clock then i'll be able to eat breakfast I'm debating whether i should get up and start getting ready now or what boston did so well last night i heard the alarm go off we set our alarm every night of course so i heard the alarm go off like somebody was um disarming it like maybe at four in the morning and she took him out and she said he peed um she said he really didn't look like he needed to go but she took him out anyway and he slept a long time yeah i really want her to or want him to be able to sleep through the night and then when we wake up go out because it's going to interrupt our sleep so that's going to take a little bit of time of course we don't want him to have any accidents in the house so far so good so we've been just watching him there because He's pretty smart and I keep looking because her door is open and he's laying on her bed and he's not getting out or anything like that. He has been so good other than when he nipped at that contractor that came to my house. That's the only time I seen anything of aggression and it wasn't even aggression. It was just like the guy pretty much came at the guy. Okay, so the guy had a hat on and sunglasses and he had this big booming voice and he was kind of a big tall guy and so you know he reached at Boston to pet him and Boston nipped at him so I called the place where I got him and I told them what happened because I just like hey what's going on is there something that you guys aren't telling me or whatever and they said he's not around a lot of males but he didn't do that with Tyreek he was fine with Tyreek but I know dogs can sense like you know personalities and good and bad people I don't know if that has something to do with it I don't know the males that he is around he gets used to them and he's fine with them because the lady who was fostering him him and her and her husband her husband was there so she said he Boston was fine with him so I don't know you guys um, I guess they had like maybe 15 dogs on their property so that's the reason why she was so like eager and happy to give one to another home because they had so many to take care of and I don't know I just threw that in there but yeah today's Easter Sunday happy resurrection day Easter is a big deal in our church community it's the resurrection of Christ they are also having baby dedication at church today I was gonna say maybe I'll vlog a little bit of it I don't know we'll see I really don't like to put people on here when they don't really know they're gonna be on here um, yeah I don't know we'll see maybe if their backs are turned I will I don't know I will see you guys but anyway I'm just gonna wait till this video uploads my internet sucks so now it's saying one hour and 45 minutes so in one hour and 45 minutes the vlog will be up Look who's here. And he just laid down. Still waiting on the video to upload, and I'm watching the Bucket List family. Leo, no. Co uh, oh my goodness. What is this dog's name? So, Boston is basically bonding with Savannah, which is not a bad thing, but it's like, hey, he's supposed to be a family dog. And 
now that we know how he is towards men with Tariq, we are just letting Boston do what he feels comfortable, not forcing him on him or anything like that. I don't think I explained to you guys what baby dedication is. In our beliefs, we do not baptize babies. We believe the full the definition of baptism is being fully submerged in water. So we don't believe in like sprinkling water on on babies' heads. And if that's the way you believe, I'm not trying to offend anyone. You know, I'm not trying to knock it. I'm just saying, using that as an example, that's not how we do things, um, being apostolic or Pentecostal. When they're young, we dedicate them to the Lord. And what that is, is just saying that you agree to raise this kid up in the church and to do everything you can to guide this kid and to be a proper Christian or whatever, a good Christian and a good person. And then once they're older and have the true understanding of what baptism means, that's when we baptize them. And then that's when they get fully submerged into water. So that's how we do things in the apostolic community. And so baby dedication is today along with um, our Easter service. So if I get a chance to vlog any of that, I will. Um, the back of people's heads apparently. So yeah, just getting ready. I'm almost done, gotta leave soon. When my kids were babies, um, they were dedicated to the Lord as well. And then once they got older and I explained to them the need for baptism and the reasons why we baptize then they got baptized so that's the reason why we don't believe in baptizing babies we will be back and then you'll be free i promise yeah there you go eat your snacks this was leo's old crate and i need to get a blanket or some kind of cushion on there i just i don't know i just didn't think about it thank you god we thank you for this child we thank you god for the parents lord that are raising his children to the admonition of you, Lord. We thank you, God, for blessing this child. We thank you, God. So I am home from church. Tariq is home also, but he left to go skate. Shy and Savannah rode together. Boston is here. You know, he really bonded with Savannah. And when I came in the door, he was looking for her. Wow, I know dogs choose the people that they like the most. And apparently this dog, like Savannah the most so far. I mean, it doesn't surprise me because she's an animal lover. Like she, I don't know if she still wants to be a veterinarian, but yeah. And he's doing so good, you guys. He is roaming the house a whole lot more. He is going to Tariq a little bit more, even though he doesn't go to him fully. We're just letting him do what he feels comfortable with right now. Yeah, and he's just eating, so. Yeah, he's doing good. He's roaming the house, y'all. He sees that the hallway is not this big, scary, long tunnel of doom. <laughs> I don't know. All of our dogs just would not go down the hallway when we got them. That's just so weird. I don't know. But anyway, he is roaming, and I put my blanket... Up, well, I kept my blanket on the couch right there. That's his blanket now. So he keeps going to this spot right here where the blanket is not. So I'll get up, and I'll pat where the blanket is, and... I just want him to know, hey, when you see the blanket, that's where you can go. But if there's no blanket, you don't belong there. But sometimes I don't want him on my couch. I don't know. I just never allowed a dog to sit on my couch. I think I need to pour him some more food. Hold on. Y'all, he is taking his food and bringing it with him and eating it. See? He took it out the bowl. Put it on the little carpet and he's eating it. You are weird, doggy. Okay, you guys, you hear him barking? So we put him out to use the bathroom and when he's done, he comes to the door, he barks <laughs> and he scratches it. And we were told that he does the same thing to go out. He hasn't done that yet, but this is only day three. All right. You're done? You're done? You're done? Are you done, boy? You're done? Where are you going? She's in the bathroom. We're trying to figure out how to put his harness on. This is what came with him. Where's it? Where's Excuse me, sir. 
Wait, how's it go again? He's too excited. Okay, how does the head, his head his go head in? His head goes in here. But how did I have it the wrong way? You had it on right. I had it on the upside down. You had it on right. Okay, I had it on right. Savannah. I'm just retarded. No, I, I could have sworn it was like that the last time. No. The, what are you doing? Here you go. Those little things. Okay, put it back on. Right. Oh my goodness. A look. All right, wait. I think his head goes in here. Boston. His head goes in here, right? Mm-hmm. And now he's drinking water. Boston, come on. Come on. Come on. Don't you want to go for a walk? Come on. Come on. Oh, see, he knows. Good boy. That's a good boy. To put it in, because he knows. Not that bad. <laughs> Well, he did, but eat the camera. You can't eat the camera. He is a good walker, but he wants to drink every water that he sees in the gutters. We're at the park, and we have our little bag for if he goes potty. What do you think? I almost called him Leo. Boston. So we're still at the park, but we're just not by the play structure where all the kids are. So just walking along here, giving him some exercise. This little thing in here is in my neighborhood and we never knew it was in here. It's like a little garden, garden even though <laughs> it's only like bushes and trees. This is, I've never paid attention to this. I'm trying to be careful not to show everything because the name of the park is here, so. For safety reasons, I can't show you guys that, sorry. We are on our way home. You can tell he's getting tired because he keeps stopping. His short little legs. So we are back from our walk. Boston was so tired, poor thing. Maybe we took him too far for his first walk. Um, I don't know exactly how they did it when he was at the other place. But what the lady said, she has like a ranch so he just ran around the back and went in and out like they have doggy doors and there were literally like 15 dogs there that's why she was so excited and happy to have me foster him which of course you guys know we are hoping it works out kind of selfish that way but hey that's how we have to do it because you guys know me and savannah took turns watching him because until he really knows the place and until He's comfortable, whatever. We really don't want to leave him alone um, other than when we went to church. So I took a shower first and she was out here watching him. And then she's in the shower now. And it's funny because he is so attached to her. He follows her wherever she goes. When she's in the same room, he just looks at her, you know, he follows her. And right now he's even looking like, where is she? I told her to go back there and close all of the doors. So I called him and he came and he sat down, but Instead of laying down all the way, I know he's waiting for her to come out. There you go. It's okay. So, yeah, you guys, he is getting more comfortable. He will get up on his own like he's doing now. Boston. She's in the shower. Come on. Boston. I guess I'm second best because he came sat by me. He's still getting used to Tyreek. He's a little standoffish to Tyreek. Not mean or anything like that. And I told Tyreek, I said, just let him do what he feels comfortable. Don't force yourself on him. Tyreek did give him treats and he took that. Why are you turning the lawn? Because it's here. Why don't you get the plan out? <laughs> Why don't you get the plan out? Well, I'm so hard to I'm back in the house. Why don't you kiss the level with me? Let's go Hello, everyone. It is Monday after work and yes I waste no time showering and getting comfortable just to give you guys an update on Boston he is doing well he is I think he's bored sometimes so we're actually gonna go get him some toys we did that the day we got him but we wanted to like let him pick out something not that he's a human or anything but like if he was interested in anything and he didn't seem like he was interested in anything so we're gonna have to go get him some toys i don't know if he'll like anything or whatever 
but um, when I came home, I'll show you what I came home to and where he was. So this is Savannah's room, <laughs> and this is where he has been all day. He has definitely bonded with Savannah the most. So yes, dogs pick and choose who they like most in the family, and he has picked Savannah. Tariq's not happy about that. Actually, he's kind of jealous because every dog we've owned has always gravitated more towards Tariq. And when it didn't happen this time, you could tell Tariq was like a little bit disappointed. But hey, he, you know, we can't force him to like any one of us any more or less. So he, I could tell he likes me. He'll come next to me and he's coming now. Oh, because Savannah's coming in the kitchen. Wow, he follows her around. He'll follow me around when she's not here. I guess I'm second best. But other than that, he stays right by her. 